perfect, perfect, perfect. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be installing a stereo on my 2013 Silverado 2500 HD. It's not a new stereo, it's just an old stereo because the old stereo has uh, it doesn't have anything. It doesn't have an aux port, it doesn't have doesn't have anything. I'll, I'll show you guys. Give me one second. Let me turn some lights on so you guys can check it out. It's kind of dark. I apologize, but this is what I'm working with right now. Yeah. And it has this little satellite radio thing, but yeah, it's not. No. So let's get to it and let's see if I can knock it out before it gets even darker because, yeah, I had so much stuff to do today that it just got super busy and I wanted to knock this out just to have you know play some tunes in my car because the radio has too much static and I don't like what's on the radio right now so let's get to it all right guys first and foremost we have to remove obviously the bezel that's around the stereo this whole bezel is this focusing the bezel around this but to take this bezel off we have to remove this panel right here this whole panel that goes across the bottom and to take that off we're gonna start with taking off this let me remove this for you guys and this is super simple you just need a flathead to remove it let me grab a flathead and I don't recommend you guys using a flathead because pretty much actually no like you just pull it from right here see that actually I didn't even need a flathead push it right there boom boom one clip two clip three clip three clips and it's a spare fuses and your fuse thing right there that's pretty much all you need for that set that apart right there so to take this off, you're gonna have bolts on the bottom. So let me check what bolts those are. And after I tell you where the bolts are, I'll try to give you an explanation to where they are if you're trying to do some ear check, right? So let me do that real quick and yeah, I'll show you guys right now. All right guys, so it does have two Phillips screws. It has one right there poking out. If you can see that one right there. It's a little dark, that one, and it has one, let me see if I can get a closer look, give me one second, let me, it has one right there, boom, one and two, right there. Take those two out, and then I'm going to proceed to try to pull this off, okay? This one has wires right here for your towing, so be careful when you pull on it, because on top it has nothing but clips on top of this thing. So let me get to removing those completely and I'll show you. So guys, when I removed those two Phillips, I realized there's a 10 millimeter right there in this little gap. There's a 10 mil just chilling there. Let me see if I can get the camera to really see it. It's somewhere, there you go, that's a 10 mil. So you gotta pull out that damn 10 mil too and I'm pretty sure there's a 10 mil somewhere else. It can't just be one. But let me hunt that one down and let me see if I can knock this out quick. Alright guys, once you remove the two Phillips that it has on the bottom, and there's a 10, just one. I only forgot to find one, well, I found only one. After you do that, this pops out towards you, and up, and I'm pretty sure this pops out towards you as well. This I pulled like down, downwards, and I'm pretty sure this just comes off like, pretty sure there's clips. But I'm going to do it with two hands so I won't break it. So I put the camera down and just pull towards me softly because I'm pretty sure there's nothing but clips all on, along the side of this. Because it comes out in two pieces. It's one piece and then another piece for the top bezel for the stereo to come out. Can't really see that, but yeah. Alright, let me pull this off and then I'll show you afterwards. So you guys, I kind of just straight up pulled it out. So pretty much it has, let me light it up for you, has one clip right there. And the other clips on the other side, right there. That clip right here. For my middle finger. Sorry for the middle finger, but right there. Y'all see it? So pretty much you just pull out towards you. So the bottom you pull down, and then the top you pull back towards you. Now, since I don't want to disconnect those, uh, let me show you real quick. That cable, I'm just going to let it dangle right here. Nothing bad, you know. She's going to chill there. And I'm going to tackle this bottom piece and then after that that should come out quick so let me see which ones because right now i see a i think that's a seven let me see if you can see that what it's seven right there one right there and one down there and i'm pretty sure it has some on the bottom or it could just be retaining clips so let me knock that out real quick all right you guys i kind of pulled it off right now because i'm trying to do this quick but it got one and two and there's 17 millimeter bolts 
and that's the only two bolts that are holding this whole plastic on like this on the bottom and you pretty much pull towards you because then it just has sorry for the mess one one two three four four clips and then the little guiders that it has on the sides after that you're free to remove the top bezel and let me try to remove that real quick because I'm pretty sure that has nothing holding it on it's just clips so if the video is going too fast for you I apologize I'm just trying to knock it out because I kind of slept on the video today and I wasn't really going to upload but you know I got to upload for you guys something so let me try to pull this off slowly and yeah hopefully this comes out smooth and I can just boom knock it out and install the stereo all right you guys I think this is the easiest dash I ever disassembled this whole thing is just covered with clips it's like Sorry, the mess again, but it's just clips. This thing just, let me see if I can set the light down so you guys can see. I just put my fingers through here and just pulled, 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 and look at this. Oh my god damn, this thing's just loose now. Hell yeah, so let me, let me just, I need two hands for this. Let me just remove this and set it down slowly so I can see what I need to take this off so I can slap on the new CD player. Well, not new, it's pre-owned, but screw it. This doesn't have no cassette player, no nothing, so. At least give me a cassette player, but no. Let me knock this out. Let me take that off and then let me proceed to remove all this crap and see if I can knock it out right now. Alright, let's do this. Alright, you guys, after you remove the bezel, there's one, two, and three. I already removed that one. On both sides. Remember, before you start removing all that, you have to remove the bottom ones first because the climate control has to come out before you can take off the top part all right so let me proceed to remove all those six bolts and there's six there's seven millimeters by the way they remove all of them and then i'll proceed to move on to install the rest of the stuff okay all right you guys once you remove this whole unit make sure your connectors that you bought your harnesses my harness is this these are this is my wire harness to install it I bought it here at my local uh, GM, GM, I think it's called Electronics, right here in, off Galindo in Concord. So let me test this out if it fits on the connections because he said there's two different styles. If this fits, then boom, I'm good to go. If not, then fuck. I'm still going to upload a video because I want to be straight up with y'all because if I fuck up, I fuck up. If not, then we're good to go. It's getting dark. As you guys can tell, it's dark out, but y'all, you, you got to grind on it. So let me just connect this. And if it, the connector fit with this, we're golden, all right? So let me disconnect this, and this, this car is just a mess. It's just, come on now. Don't, don't ever do this to your truck, man. Be, your truck is good to you. You love your truck. Do some good shit with your truck. Don't, don't, this is a mess. I just picked up this truck, so I'm trying to make it look perfect, all right? So let me disconnect this, and let me get to it. All right, guys. So the kit I purchased is this right here. This is the number for it. Supposedly, is it gonna focus? Hold on, let me let me set this down real quick. Let me set it down for y'all real quick. Let me zoom in a little bit. Boom. That's everything right there. This kit supposedly is for a single din and a double din. So in case I wanna later upgrade to a double din, because I think I will, because I want a reverse camera, I can do it with this kit, okay? Like I said, I picked all this stuff up here at my local uh, GM electronic whatever thingy. I'll put a link in the description of their number so you guys can go call them, ask them for info. They sell a bunch of shit, rims, tires, everything, right? So let me install this. Let me see if this thing fits too, man. You know, you always double check. But like I said, let me see if it fits. And if it is, once again, boom, we're golden, baby. Oh, and by the way, they fit, boy. Everything's good. They all plug in. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use my antenna. I don't know what the fuck this is. Shit, I don't know what this is. But whatever it is, I got that to work. Now let me get the, the kit together. If it if bolts on, like I said, we're golden and we're good to go. So I'll be back in one minute. All right guys, so the kit fits. It should be going in like this. Boom. It's good. That's what's up. So let me get to wiring it i'm not going to show you the colors because it's basic shit it's uh where the hell is it it's this this is the one that goes to the stereo it's going to be connected to this 
It's just color by color, that's it. Purple, purple, green, green, green with white line, green with white line. Simple, if you guys want a whole video on that, then I'll make one. But if not, then I guess not. But yeah, let me connect these and then make sure everything works properly before I button everything up, right? So give me another one minute because I'm trying to knock this out because it's already late, I haven't ate, hungry, you know me. So let me try to knock this out. All right, you guys, once you guys obviously finished your harness, it should look something like this. Every wire connected as colored match as possible. Red, red, yellow with yellow, black with black, and uh, green with black stripe, green with black stripe. It's, it's super simple. Read, you can just read the instructions, and uh, yeah, everything will fit. And the red one, the red wire for the, uh, the power is different on this car because you have to find your own red wire, but I already had an existing red wire running through, so I just spliced it, and that's what I did right there. But I'm gonna cut that up, and I'm, I'm done. I'm done buying this thing up, you know? God damn, it was easy, but shit, I'm hungry. But yeah, that's pretty much it, dude. I'm not gonna show you me buttoning it up, but I will show you after I turn on the stairs, so I can be like, yay, you know? But let me just button all this up, make it look nice, and I'll show you how it looks like afterwards. Oh, by the way, there's no need to buy an antenna adapter. Where the fuck is an antenna adapter? Don't, people say, oh, you have to buy an antenna adapter. This fits perfectly into any stereo. I don't know why they were trying to get me to purchase an antenna adapter. This one for this one fits perfectly. So I recommend you tear it apart, stick it on there, and if it needs one, well, screw it. Roll without a radio for a little bit, and then order an antenna adapter. That's if you need it. But I highly doubt you don't need it. Not for the 2013, uh, Chevy Silverado because that's what I have it's a 2500 HD so that works perfectly right so let me button like I said let me button it up and then we got music also guys before you start burning everything up make sure even where's that wire let me hold on see this wire it's an orange wire I didn't need it oh sorry the lights bad I didn't need this wire so I capped it. Make sure you cap it with, don't put electric tape on the thing, man. Come on, you take care of your car. Make sure your car has everything good. You know what I'm saying? This car gets you to point A to point B. Make sure everything's nice and tidy. You know, everything's buttoned up. I already capped that little one that I said I was gonna cap off. Everything is capped, you know? No duct tape, all right? I know, oh, well, this and that. Shrink wrap, uh, okay, but I'd rather do this. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything is capped. You don't wanna start a damn fire, and then you ain't gonna have no damn car. All right, so like I said, let me finish this up and I'll let you know how it looks like afterwards. All right guys, so this is the finished product after it's buttoned up and boom, it works. I'm not gonna turn it up too loud because I want to get no damn copyrights, but uh, I need an aux cord, but. Ooh, the static bumps in this shit, hell yeah. Came out good. Static key just like I like it. I ain't gonna put no music. Cause you know how it is. But... No, that, that was my bad. That was, that was my bad. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, guys. As you can tell, I'm eating my night with some hot dogs wrapped in bacon and a little bit of margarita, a little bit of tequila. So, if you enjoyed the video and like the content and help someone out there, please throw me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below if I can have done anything better. But till now, I'm gonna spend some family time, eat some food, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, y'all.